Uh, oh, a used soda. Awesome. I should drink this on camera. No, I'm just kidding. Ew, I don't even know why I touched it. So as you guys know by now, we're trying to not really spend any money or do any hunting until we do our heroes trip. But the problem is it's starting to kind of get to me because I want to go hunting. I want to see what's out there. And it doesn't help that my boy Jason from the Toy Militia just sent me a bunch of pictures from his target and he showed me that the new wave of AEW Unrivaled, Unrivaled 9, is hitting shelves. So I figured, you know what? We won't do a full-on toy hunt. We'll just pop in we'll randomly pop in we'll see what's on the shelves you know just a random toy hunting and we'll see what happens um we'll probably hit the target in deford and we'll go to the one as well. we'll do two targets we'll do two targets quick random impromptu toy hunt not a real toy hunt necessarily and uh we'll see what's on the shelves so i will see you guys at the first target Let's get the hunt started. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start off in the wrestling and we already have a Titan Joker, even though it doesn't belong in this area. Uh, Ember Moon, not with the company anymore, unfortunately. Three Batistas, Road Dog. Uh, got a whole bunch of Lance Archer up here. Right, yeah, all Lance Archer. And back up there, those are having a sale on AEW. I thought they were $19.99. I guess some stores are still trying to do $21.99. Lance Archer, Ortiz. Oh, we have some Series 92 showing up. Yeah, we have the Fiend already. Excellent looking figure. I got him for the wife like a month or so ago. The Rock, that Rey Mysterio. Uh, we got Charlotte Flair, Scarlet, okay. Haven't seen Scarlet yet. Not too bad, not too bad. Charlotte, like I said. Another Rey Mysterio, this is the uh, other version of him. And Rock. Rock, Ray, DX China. The same old figures up here. Let's go ahead and put Candice, or uh, not Candice, Ray, Ember Moon back up there with our friends. Put this up there, oh man, leave him right there, Never mind. All right. That's the wrestling section. Moving down to Star Wars. Uh, not a whole lot for vintage collection. We have a quill and the rest seem to be Lando. Oh, we haven't seen these yet. The new Hot Wheels uh, Starship select. Well, if that's Slave One. I wonder if they'll have the TIE Fighter on the other side where these normally are. All right, I'm gonna hang on to this and bring it back to that aisle. So coming over to Masters of the Universe, looks like these ones are on sale for $11.89. If you guys need any, check your targets. Maybe they're having a sale as well. Um, the deluxe figs are $15.39 on sale. All right. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff here for Lightyear. Oh, check this out. $44.99. Dude, this is a nice ship, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it looks worth, worth it to me. 40? That's reasonable. 10, 20, 40 figures. All right. Not bad, not bad. What's this? 21.99? Dude, this is a cool looking figure. I'm not even gonna lie. Three three quarter inch uh, Hammond collection. Looks like we just have yeah, just just uh, Malcolm. If you guys are collecting Jurassic World, check your targets because if you need anything, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it. I do kind of want the Triceratops. He's always been one of my favorite dinosaurs. Oh, this is cool. The kitchen encounter. Look at that. I mean, they're through three quarters. They don't look too bad. That's awesome. 
well, if you need a Tyrannosaurus Rex escape pack, pretty sure you won't have a problem finding it. What's this Hammond collection right here? Oh, okay, that guy. Ooh, look at this from Imaginex or Imaginext. Damn, that's a big ass dinosaur. Ages three to eight, yeah, because I'm, I'm sure your average three year old is gonna be playing with this thing, right? <laughs> All right, well, let's go check on the other side and see if they have anything over there. Oh, the Batmo Beast. Anything up here for DC? I don't think there's anything that we are really looking for in that realm. Oh, they got the ninjas. They got the blue, one black, and they got the pink. No white, but that's that's all right. Uh, I want to get these. I, I need to get these figures. Um, I just trying to trying to be really selective because of you know the trip coming up next week, guys. Can't wait. Some love and thunder showing up. Okay. Ravage Thor. All Ravage Thor. This is just Thor. This is pretty cool. Got anyone else? Just Thor. At first, I thought I was kind of going crazy. So this is Natalie Portman. This is the Mighty Thor, but it's not the right figure. It's Gore. I should have, you know, noticed that when I when I first saw it, but I wasn't paying attention. And it doesn't look like it's tampered with at all. So this is definitely a uh, like a factory error. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I don't I don't need anything from this wave. Um, so I'm just gonna pass on that. And then coming down to the video game part of the aisle. Not much going on here for Mario or Minecraft. A little golf cart's cool. Can totally use that for for something. I still think these are cool. Like I'm not into Legends of or League of Legends, but the few figures that I've seen, especially this guy, really cool. Very nicely done. Ooh, got one on clearance. $9.99. I'm not gonna get into things I don't know about. Nothing new for Fortnite. Sky and Ollie. <laughs> It's actually pretty pretty funny the shark is cool if you guys are into fortnite or not even that but if you need a shark the shark's actually not a bad buy it's pretty nice all right i'm gonna head over to hot wheels and put this back and see if they have the tie fighter all right coming on the hot wheels and they've restocked on hot wheels so that's cool and oh it does look like they have it it's my first time seeing this 12.99 yeah, I gotta get this for the tie collection. You guys know I'm a huge tie collector. I think one day I'm gonna show that. I just gotta get some more pieces for it. A lot of vintage pieces, and then I'll be able to, to show you guys. Here's the Razor Crest. That's cool. Put that back up here. Actually, you know what? I actually, I think I might need to get this for uh, my boy Tommy Retro. I'm gonna message him, but I wanna hang on to that regardless. I love, I love that. So now it's like, do I want to take it out? Cause I love, you know, the design. I like the logo, all that stuff. Or do I want to take it out? I even like the background, eh, it'll probably come out. All right, let's head on over to NECA. So let's see if NECA has anything. I mean, it's a mess. There's a lot going on, but I don't, oh, check that out. The, the brain is out. The wife really, really wanted this, so you know what? Yeah, we're gonna grab the brain for her. She hasn't been feeling well lately, so we'll do that. Halloween Kills showing up, that's good. This is actually, this was a hard figure to find. If you guys do need that figure, I would get it. Puppet Master, Spawn, Leatherface. I feel like this is one you don't see very often either, but it's also a really nice figure. If you guys are into the Chainsaw Massacre, 
decarbonized trooper. Nobody cares. Also a creedy. Another brain. Cloth ghost face. Three of those. A nun. Is this the, so? I didn't realize there was one of these that glows in the dark. I'm about to check and see if this is it because I would like to have that one. So we'll check her. Um, and then the usual stuff down here. So, okay, I think that's gonna do it for this target. Let's go ahead and run over to Soul Target and see what they have on the shelf. We're leaving that target now. We're on our way to the next one. Um, some pretty cool finds. We picked up the Slave One and the Tie Fighter uh, Hot Wheels. Um, Cause I, you guys know I collect Tie Fighters. My buddy wanted the Slave One, so I got that for him. And then we grabbed the NECA Gremlins Ultimate Brain for the wife because she's really been looking forward to that one coming out. So I figured it was right there, I'll grab it for her. While we're on the way to this target, I just wanted to talk briefly about why I'm doing this little random impromptu video. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have seen a post or two, and I've, I've done it in videos also. I'll put a snippet in like a video, like at the beginning or somewhere in the middle, um, where I'll pop into a Target or a Walmart like, I'll go to a Walmart, just say, okay, I need something for dinner. Okay, I'm gonna, I need to grab this, this, and that. I'll check the toy aisle. And then I'll post, hey, I randomly came in here, and look what I found. So I figured I would just film that regardless, you know. Um, they won't be full toy hunts. If I'm just popping into a store or two with no intent on hunting, then I'll still record it, you know. I'll still put the content out because that's wasted content, to be quite honest, you know. It really is. But if I'm planning a trip where I'm kind of going more than just a couple local stores, then that'll be a toy hunt video. But other than that, I mean, I realized the other day I'm, I'm wasting content by just popping into these stores and not filming it. We're getting ready to pull into this Target now. I'm going jack off. <laughs> anyway, we're getting ready to pull into this Target now. What I've realized is they usually have a really good regular toy section. So their NECA section might suck it just because I cut it in half but you never know what you'll find in the regular toy section doesn't look like we have much going on in Star Wars or even so much the wrestling we do have a couple Batistas a Rey Mysterio back there we have this Undertaker we have Ultimate Alexa Bliss more Rey we have a Green Ranger Super 7 some AEW No Chase Edge all the same figures we've been seeing. A couple me Mark Callis figures. Okay. Right, moving on. You have a death trooper. I did contemplate getting another one. All right, I have four of them. I don't think I need another one. I'm just pass on him for now. Lando Vintage Collection, and I mean, as you can see, there's not a whole lot for Star Wars. It's pretty much dead. Okay, so moving on down to Masters. Here's the new Beast Man, new Eternia Beast Man. I know my buddy Man Cave just found this. Did a really good review on it. If you guys want to check that out, and I know my boy Century just found this recently. Maybe you guys know I'm not collecting this, but it's still a pretty cool looking figure. That's all I have for for Masters there. Skeletor, Skeletor, Skelegod. These are fifteen thirty nine still on sale. Oh, there's a new one in the Mirrorverse. We've never seen the bell. I still am thinking about the Jack Sparrow. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. He just, he just looks pretty cool, I think. I don't know if you guys seen these Pixar featured favorite chip. These are pretty cool. Um, inside Out, I've never seen the movie, so I don't know that Bing Bong, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Celia and Mike Wazowski. And they make a, uh, they have a Bugs Life one. I think it's Flick and Dot, like I remember. 
more light year stuff. Still think that figure. We just saw that at the other Target. So awesome looking figure. I think at least. You guys let me know what you think. Anything new for Jurassic World? It looks like it's all the same stuff that was at the other Target. But they are running a sale, so my boy JB's Toy Trunk was telling me about this one. I won't get 150% off. So if you guys do want that, uh, you, know, you can probably get that and that. You know, if I won't get 150% off or whatever else you might want to get. Another Batmobile's down there. Not really much going on on this side. Oh, this, one's, this one has the ninjas. They have the white, pink, and blue. They have the black. It'd be cool if they had all four of them. Nah, they just have three blue, two pink, and one white. Oh, God, look right in front of me. <laughs> Someone's not using their their eyeballs. Man, so if I wanted to, I can grab all four. I can't. I got Guys, I gotta be good. I don't know what goodies are gonna be in North Carolina, so I gotta be good. These are the proper packages for <laughs> for the mighty thor not the gore box with the mighty thor inside this is weird so i turned around and they have a lot of neca stuff over here so i wonder i'm gonna go over there and check i wonder if they're moving the neca you know funko and super seven stuff in the aisles now because my targets don't do that i know some targets have it where it's in the toy aisles but you know typically they're back where the collectibles are like where the tvs are Yeah, let's go ahead and go back there and see if there's anything. They still have the NECA section up, so I don't know if maybe they're just putting stuff over there for overflow or what, but there clearly is stuff here. And that's why we just picked this one up recently. I need the, the other three. Is it back here? Let's do a quick top scan. I don't see it. You guys know I don't really collect pops, but Iron Maiden's one of my bands. I have to collect it for them. Yeah, nope. No any pops. And again, I think I've shown it off before, but this is why I don't come to this NECA section because there's never really anything here. Oh, um, Michael Myers, Teen Terror. Guys, there you have it. I'll see you back in the car. B -b 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 Bam! I'm about to copy my boy Century Mag Collector right now. Yo, this tastes like sh No, I'm just kidding. It's actually really good. I typically don't drink this crap. Oh my god. Oh, very sweet. Um, I typically don't drink this stuff. I'm just it's one of those days where I just need something with a little bit of a little bit of flavor and a little a little sweetness. So that's why I don't go to that Target very often. Their toy aisle is good. It can be good. Uh, my hair is a wreck. Not whatever. Um, but you guys saw their NECA section is just it's it's god awful. But um, our first Target was good. We came away with a couple of things, a couple um, new Hot Wheels, Star Wars vehicles, NECA brain. And, uh, oh, I also picked up Morbius on Blu-ray for my buddy. I, I didn't get it. It was for him. But, uh, so yeah, I guess it's going to do it for this first, I don't want to say episode. I mean, it's going to be something that we're going to do. So, not yeah, episode, whatever. I don't know. Um, essentially, it's all toy hunt. It's just, it's another toy hunt video, just not a full-on toy hunt. It's a random toy hunt. I think at this point, I'm not sure. This video will probably go up tomorrow well today's thursday it might go up tomorrow you guys know i try to stick to a monday friday schedule but i might end up kicking that up another day and do a monday wednesday and friday i don't i have a lot of stuff to put out i really do i just i'm slow to do it because of my schedule like my list is this big but my schedule is bigger <laughs> you know I, I i work almost every single day every single afternoon every single night and especially because of north carolina I'm putting in a crap ton of time. Like I was telling, I was telling the guys, I was telling you know Mr. Fantastic and all them in our little group that uh, 
since May, you know, like we, we, this trip has been planned for a while, but since May, I've been working a lot. Yeah, basically since May, I've been working like crazy because I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get everything out of the way bill wise before we go down, which I accomplished. I, that's one of the things I wanted to do. Um, because the next time I get paid is when I'm down there in North Carolina. Um, so I wanted to make sure all that was mine <laughs> and I didn't have to feel guilty about not paying any bills. All my bills are paid because I'm an adult and I'm responsible like that. Yet I'm an adult that buys toys. So figure that one out. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. I don't want this to go too long. We're supposed to be doing a random toy hunt, not, not personal time with Jersey geek. That can happen. We can, we can have personal time. We can talk more if you guys like this. I'm not trying to copy off Century either. I feel like I feel like I'm totally being a Century right now. I mean, like I said, I'm already a fat version of them, so I might as well start copying off them, right? Everybody else in this in this uh, YouTube platform copies off each other, so why not? I probably should have got some tea instead because I'm not much of a coffee guy at all. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Somebody just pulled in. They keep staring over here. I'm about to, like, take this coffee and throw it at our nice car. What is that? A Mercedes? Not a Mercedes. Oh, it's some fancy car. Throw this coffee at it anyway. Right at her, right at her, uh, her driver's side window. See how she likes that. But if you guys did enjoy this little impromptu video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like and comment. All that good stuff. Um, hopefully hitting 1600 here soon. And then, like I said, hopefully before the end of the year, we can hit 2,000 or 25. I'm happy with where the channel is, <clears throat> but of course I want to grow it. I want to grow it as much as I can. And like I said, it's going to happen with the support of all you guys and girls. I have a couple uh, females that watch, which is cool. But thank you guys for the support up to this point. Like I said, we're going to keep growing this channel. If you guys do enjoy toy hunting videos and toy show videos and future reviews... <laughs> and unboxings, all types of toy-related content. Um, like I said, consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload, especially now that we're doing giveaways. Make sure you guys are constantly staying on, on the channel, on my Instagram and all that stuff. Um, don't forget, next week we're leaving for North Carolina with the guys. Um, I think the three of us, we're flying out Thursday morning. Um, didn't want to drive this time. I just figured, I mean, it was fun last time, but... We just want to try something different. We want to get there, you know. It's an eight-hour drive. It's like a 12-hour drive for Syntastic because I think he drives from, like, way upstate New York. So I feel bad for him. But it's an eight-hour drive, but it's like an hour and a half flight. So our flights are really early. They're, like, 6, 6.30 in the morning, and we're getting there by 8. Like, all three of us are arriving within 15 minutes of each other. So Man Cave's going to be there to pick us up. Uh, I don't know who else is going to be there. If JB's toy trunk will be there, if Zach Jack Dan will be there with him, I don't know. But um, Cave's going to pick us up. We're going to go, and uh, I think we're chilling on Thursday. I think that's like our kind of relax, unwind, you know, because some, some of us are getting to know each other. You know, I've never met Century. I've never met uh, Zach Jack Dan, and Century's meeting all of us for the first time. So Thursday might be our kind of chill day, you know, get to know each other a little bit more, talk about collecting and all that stuff. Um... Friday is going to be our all-day toy hunt. Uh, Saturday is going to be Heroes Con, and then we're flying back Sunday, which sucks because we're going Saturday to a show, and then we got to watch the time because then we got to get up balls early and fly back on a Sunday. I think Kentpool is coming, is coming to join us at some point. I'm not sure where, if he's coming on the toy hunt, if he's coming Thursday, if he's coming uh, to Heroes Con. I don't know. So um, I'm sure Kentpool will make an appearance somewhere. It'll be obviously my first time meeting him. Uh, Century and Cave have met him and done videos with him before, but all of us will be meeting him for the first time. So looking forward to, to meeting him. Kempel's a pretty cool guy. I've been talking to him on Instagram recently. I like his Mythic Legions videos. He does some pretty cool Mythic Legion shorts. That boy likes his Mythic Legions, I'll tell you. All right, guys, we're going to end it for real this time. <laughs> like I said, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And like always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Salud. Oh, it's starting to get, it's starting to get watered down now. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm not doing this.